I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let me, let me take these damn things off. All right, look, I already know what you guys are thinking. Where has this guy been? Where the fuck has Haywood been? Like, I have not seen his face on YouTube. I haven't seen his face anywhere in a long time. He doesn't vlog anymore. He doesn't vlog anymore. Did he lose the hunger? Did he lose the drive? Did he lose the drive? Did he lose his drive? You tell me, did I? No, I did not lose my drive. And look, I got a lot of good excuses for you guys. Trust me, okay? Trust me on this. Believe me, baby, believe me. But anyways, a lot of people are probably wondering, yo, where you been? I remember back in 2011, 2012, you were posting videos, you were posting vlogs, you were on top of your shit, you were on your game. This dude was hungry. And yeah, I did a lot here and there. A lot has happened, okay, since 2012. 2011 a lot has happened learned a lot of lessons and I'm not really mad about any of them you know what I mean I just think that sometimes you go through certain things they teach you lessons all that matters is I'm back now but if you do want a quick history lesson I want with down I can totally give you that just give me like two seconds okay cuz I gotta I gotta write it all down cuz you know what I'm just gonna tell you the stuff that made the biggest impact on me okay how about that does that sound good okay cool so let me give y'all the rundown real quick, okay? A lot of things happened. 2011, I bought my first camera. I began vlogging randomly, didn't know what I was doing. I was just kind of learning things, you know what I mean? What do you do when you get something new? You start to play with it like a kid, like a little kid that just play with things and figure it out. And that's what I was doing. I was just vlogging, even though it was terrible lighting, horrible angles, and quite honestly, nonsense, some of it, but you know, I was learning. 2011 was a good year though. 2012 through 2013, I was at an all time high. You know, I started shooting music videos for rappers in LA. Then I left LA for college in Oregon of all places. I stayed in the dorms, so you know how that must have went. Then 2013 through 2014, I got kicked out of school for not being able to afford my second year. I was humbled by life. And in an effort to see the lessons of the situation, I began to study my roots and spirituality. And based off these studies, I came up with my brand L-Click. And then I first began doing my drawings of designs and then I eventually got back into school. 2015, well, I partied. I threw parties and I partied a lot. And I even caught me a girlfriend. Eventually I graduated college somehow too. And then my girlfriend convinced me not to move back to LA after graduation. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Then 2016, 20, ooh, it's a lot of poof, poof. 2016, I began working with a sub label of good music and I thought this was my ticket out. Things didn't work out. And I ended up getting myself into a studio situation instead, which was pretty dope. 2017, I started my LLC. I began to treat the studio like a business. I finalized my logos and then eventually through my first label event, which showcased many artists that repped the brand. And that was pretty cool. 2018, I established a solid reputation as an audio engineer and producer in Oregon. And I began to lead many artists on their projects, which was really cool. This is where I got to take the reins of being a artist developer. 2019, I continued to engineer for a ton of artists. I threw a two day festival with my buddy. The event was called Solstice. And then I ended up breaking up with my girlfriend, became vegan, and then moved back to LA. And then there's 2020. I changed my approach to everything. I realized that I had forgot a lot about myself. I began to focus on my brand and my personal music again. And then coronavirus. I had to diversify and this forced me to work on my e-commerce skills and I even sold waist trainers online for a while. And here we are, 2021. So we're smack dab in the middle of 2021 and I'm finally getting back to the hustle of my earlier days, which is dabbling in everything that I enjoy and that's what it should be. By the way, 
This whole video is sponsored by L Click. Go to LClick.com. Go get you some merch. Go look fresh. Go get some God level apparel. You know what I'm saying? Do it for yourself. Do it for the God body. And just live the lifestyle. Because it's a lifestyle brand, baby. It ain't just no t shirt. It's lifestyle. Come on, man. Buy the shirts. <laughs> hey, and buy the hoodies too. The hoodies is hard. And the hats is hard. And the shorts is hard. But back to the video. All right, so with all that being said, all I really want people to know is I haven't lost the drive. I haven't lost the hunger, okay? I'm actually working on a lot of different things right now. You know, everything's a lesson. But just know I'm back in your face full force better than I was when I first began this journey, this musical journey. I feel a lot more grounded. I think, uh, I think I'm back where I need to be. You know what? I'm not gonna use that word, think. Because thinking means it's, it's implying that you are not 100% sure it's just something you're thinking. But I know, when I say I know, it is a fact. I know what I'm working on and I know what I'm planning and what I've been planning has been planned for years. Now it's just about executing and making sure these things are executed all the way through. Having a solid team, trial and error. Trial and error is one of the biggest things. It's taught me a lot. Trial and error has been one of my my biggest lessons since I began this whole musical journey. Actually, there was an album that I was planning called Trial and Error back in 2014. And who knows, I probably will still use that name. Everything is Trial and Error. Little did I know I would still be talking about Trial and Error. Ooh, what's the math on that? 2014, seven years later. Oh shit, damn. Sorry for all the kids that are watching. But when I first started my journey, my little nephew was like two years old, right? This little dude was like eating his little corn dogs and stuff, watching me make beats in there, you know? And now he's a grown ass man. This kid, the big old linebacker. Shout out to Elijah, I love you. But he's 11 years old now. He was a little two year old back then, three, it was two or three. That's in the younger days. That was when everything was first starting. Still working on putting these, uh panels up so if you were judging I'm watching you and I'm judging you back I right? I'm judging you right back <laughs> I am working on a new studio space but you know now the coronavirus is finally starting to settle it actually makes sense to get a brick and mortar space so finally after about a year and a half of not having an actual dedicated studio space we'll have a studio space to work out of and not only will it just be audio it'll be video stuff too and i'll be tapping back into my creativity i should still do what i like to do right i mean that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to do what you love and you're not supposed to stop granted my camera was stolen during that time i don't know what happened but that shit came up missing and that pissed me off out of all the cameras y'all can steal y'all still mine but a fuck ton of other cameras you nice cameras like my shit was whack but you want my camera all i'm gonna say is i'm back baby i'm back and i'm better than ever and i'm gonna have a nice little set of videos for y'all so by the time this is edited just know there's about six seven other videos already done and we're just gonna go through the journey i don't have a specific niche for y'all i do too much shit for me to focus on one thing and I'm not going to limit myself. All I'm going to do is record it and make sure you guys see it because y'all need to see what the fuck I do. I do a lot, but I don't want to sound like one of them, them niggas that's like, oh, I do this, I do that. No, bro, no. Nah. <laughs> when you got an eye for something and an ear for something, you can create magical shit. I want people to see me creating that magical shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all deserve to see it. And there was so much that happened from 2000. 12 well yeah 2012 all the way up until literally last year there was so much that could have been filmed and for some reason i just decided that i shouldn't film anything but i need to start doing that again so jokes on me for that because <laughs> i see some youtubers that have been doing this shit since like 2015 and i'm like bro like i was already four years deep by that point had i kept filming like i said trial and error baby trial and error Make sure you guys stay tuned with the channel. I'm working on a whole album. I'm actually done with it, but I'm working on visuals. I'm working on getting the whole aesthetic going. We're getting merch. We're getting L-Click merch ready, marketing rollout ready. And we're just gonna 
We're just gonna kick shit up a notch. I'm not pumping my brakes no more. I'm not pumping my brakes no more. All right, I'm back. I'm really back this time. All the way. So just know I'm back at it again and we're gonna go crazy this whole summer. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, make sure you hit like, share with everybody, let them know that after a bazillion years, Haywood is back posting YouTube videos. And if you see this on Instagram, shit, share this shit, bro. Just share this shit. I'll see y'all next time.